destination for visitors and locals alike. But there's something else here. An attractive shell seems harmless at first. But beneath the beauty lies a killer. The Cone Snail. There is no antivenom. There is no treatment for the Cone Snail. You either survive it or you don't. Brazil's beaches have a chemistry, a spirit, a reputation for good times and carefree holidays. And they deliver with friendly people, sun and surf. But on some of Brazil's beaches, appreciating beauty can get you killed. Like much of Brazil's wildlife, the cone snail is attractive and enticing until you pick it up. Cone snails are one of the most lethal animals on Earth, and they're a really unique adaptation where you've got the beautiful shell, and then you've got the organism living inside of it. The cone snail has blazed its own trail in snail evolution. Where other species are content to eat things like algae and plants, the cone snail has become a meat-eating predator. Its poison dart delivers a fast-acting toxin that instantly immobilizes its prey. It makes sense that they have to operate that fast because, well, it's a snail. It's not very good at swimming. If the fish get away, that's it. They have no meal. To humans, the cone snail's seduction lies in its beauty. Many are drawn to their graceful shell with attractive markings. But disturbing a cone snail is the last thing you want to do. They are really ornately patterned. They're one of the favorites of shell collectors and shell fanciers, but they're also a lethal animal inside of it. Next, can anyone survive the most toxic marine killer? Then, how a beach party can turn fatal. And a strange frog with a touch of death. In Brazil, nature's deadliest killers attack with extreme aggression, terrifying strength, and deadly poison payloads. Every day, nature wages a battle between life and death. And sometimes, humans get caught in the crossfire. Along Brazil's coastline, there's a species of snail that breaks the rules. Far from a garden-dwelling vegetarian, the cone snail is a deadly carnivorous predator. And if humans interfere, there can only be one consequence. You see a pretty little shell with that kind of shape, don't pick it up. A tiny harpoon shoots into the victim, pumping one of the world's most toxic poisons. Cone snail contains a toxin which is called conotoxin. It's one of the most lethal marine species that exist in the world. It basically causes a generalized paralysis very quickly. One drop of venom could kill 20 people. It is a lethal mix of chemical agents, all designed to extinguish life. Cone snail venom is one of the most complex cocktails of neurotoxins out there. It is astounding the targeting and how precise it is. They hit just about every part of the nerve simultaneously. Paralysis sets in quickly, most crucially in the victim's diaphragm. But some victims die before they stop breathing. They are killed by the pain alone. Some patients can't even withstand the pain and will die from it. They will suffer a myocardial infarction or a heart attack. There is no antivenom. A victim can only live if someone keeps their respiratory system going. You're going to either survive because you haven't gotten enough venom into you or because you get good supportive care to keep you breathing. But other than that, there's no treatment. Brazilian beauty can be a double-edged sword.